Hey guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rimmel London BB Cream. This was actually requested by one of my subscribers and I'll put her username right here. So I have been using this Rimmel BB Cream for about a month to a month and a half. And overall I'm very, very impressed. And this claims to have 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. And it is Raw Spectrum SPF 25. So the 9 and 1 results are minimizes pores, um, primes, moisturizes, conceals, covers, smooths, mattifies, brightens, and helps protect last all day. So for me personally from the back description, for me it um, primes really well, moisturizes, it minimizes my pores, it kind of conceals but not too much because I still use a concealer. Um, it mattifies somewhat and it I, I just doesn't really brighten I kind of mix it if I really do want it to brighten um, I do mix it with another product which I will talk about so for me the overall product is really really good um, I kind of compare it to because I am in love with my NARS um, tinted moisturizer and this kind of does it for me but not as much as a NARS one like I guess this one could it's not an exact dupe but if I had to pick a drugstore BB cream, this would be it because I've had really bad experiences with them. I only did or tried out two and it was the Garnier one and the Maybelline one. The Garnier one was a complete disaster. I hated it. Uh, I have combination skin so my oiliness is right here, my T-zone. So when I put on the Garnier one, it was such a mess. Like it melted right off my face like the instant I put it on. Like, it was just bad. Even with like a setting powder, it just melted completely off my face once I got outside. Even in my house, like after like 15 minutes, it would just melt off. It was nasty. I did not like it at all. And I know other people um, complained about it too. The Maybelline one wasn't as bad as the Garnier one, but it did melt off my face too. This one was the only one that I tried. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give another shot to the drugstore. And I got this one because it was on sale. And I was like, you know what? Why not? I really do like it. Um, it does not melt off my face. Um, it holds on a little better if I do use a setting powder, but by itself it's okay. I mean, it doesn't slide off like the other ones, which are just a really big, big, big mistake. Um, but yeah, so the only thing about this, I would say, I put it on with my hand and sometimes, not, I don't tend to do it with my sponge because um, it's, when I wear this, it's just like for light coverage. So I really don't like want everything perfect. So I just use my hands. And I will tell you that it does have a sunscreen scent. At least that's what I pick up right when you put it on. But as the day goes on, you don't smell it anymore. For me personally, the smell goes away like after a minute because you get used to it. But if you do not like the scent of sunscreen, then this BB cream is not for you. But what I did find is when I blend it, it doesn't really blend well. You really have to blend it into your face. If you don't, then you will see like the harsh lines everywhere where you didn't blend it in. For me especially, um, at first when I had it, um, I had like the awkward line like right over my lips um, that you could really see. So when I put it on, I really have to like go like this for there's no harsh lines if I do it with my um, hands. I haven't done it with the brush, but um, I mean, I can deal with it because I know how it's blended in. So this one isn't as easily to blend. You do have to take a while with it, but once you blend it, it is, it's good for me. Um, if I do want it to a little brighten up my face a little bit more, I do use my Benefit Sunbeam, and I just put a little bit of this into my hand and a little bit of the Sunbeam, and I mix it in together, and it gives me a very nice glow. Like I just tanned, and it was amazing. So that's when I want to wear a little bit more makeup. But when I do wear it by itself um it's awesome like i said it does moisturize your skin um i skip a primer because with other foundations i do put primer but this one doesn't need it i feel like it does protect me because it does have 25 um, spf which is amazing because since we are getting into a spring and summer you really do need um that extra coverage and especially if it is spring and summer you don't want to put on like a heavy foundation or a medium coverage you just want something very light because if you are like going to the pool or you're like running around you, it will like you will tend to sweat and this will like if it does sweat off it's not as much it's just like a little bit like you won't like have your face like oh my gosh like your face looks totally different from the time you walked into the room because it's very very light um but yeah i really recommend this um if you are young and you don't want to have like 
foundation when you go to school like especially middle school girls and high school girls who don't really have time to put like a lot of makeup but you just want something to um cover your face and just make everything even it's really good um but like i said it doesn't conceal as much like for me i do put concealer on under my under eye and um well it does cover up really good for me um pimples like the redness goes away like it uh, disappears but the only problem like doesn't conceal my under eyes but other than that it's awesome i really do recommend it um it's cheap i think i got it on sale for i think it was three dollars but originally it's like five six so it's very very affordable this one is a plus i love it like i said the other two that i tried were not good experiences for me so once i found this like you I was sold and since I love this so much I don't know if I'll be able to branch out to another BB cream because I know um, they have a lot of other drugstore ones but if I do um, I will let you guys know if it compares to the one because this one is amazing so yeah so with that I'm going to leave you guys and end this video and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you are not a subscriber please subscribe and yeah I will see you guys next time bye guys